Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is EET 122 Digital 2. Okay, today we're going to talk about glitches. Glitches are inherent errors. Um, so, in a perfect world, everything goes right. There's pointless masses, there's no friction, you got a lot of money in your bank account, you're good looking, you got a girl, uh, you got a good girlfriend. Um, reality, things don't always work out that way. Okay, so in perfect world, all our digital pulses look like this, right? You know, nice, nice snappy transitions, and they're occurring at the same time, you know, doesn't happen that way. So um, you guys have already seen on the oscopes how there's a little bit of a, a slope to these things here, and that's a problem. Um, so let's call this A0, A1, A2. And let's think of these as if you read them this direction, just tilt your screen. Um, how am I going to do this? Tilt your screen this way. So you're looking at it this way. If you're in the library, tell them I told you you could do it. Um, what you're getting there is 0, 0, 0. All you're getting is, oops, zero to seven. Oops, zero should be there. It's basically a counter circuit. So in perfect world, um, this counter uh, coming in, let's say uh, the example the, the book uses, oops, one second, let me just draw the decoder. Um, let's say that counter, this this thing is it progressively transitions from triple zero to triple one in nice even steps. It's being fed into this side of the 74138 uh, 3 to 8 decoder. Um, you should, in theory, have this nice progression from zero suddenly goes low and then it goes high and one goes low because this is active low and that goes high and you get this nice nice and even progression as time goes on where one and only one of these active low outputs is goes low at any specific time and it does this nice orderly progression through from zero to seven and then back to zero, okay? Because that's what, if you kept this waveform going in this fashion. But um, there's this thing called a glitch that occurs uh, accord, um, specifically with this one here. Um, it's a binary to octal. Um, what could happen here is remember how we had our uh, discussion earlier about how digital pulse, oops, let me just draw a digital pulse, should look like that. But in reality, you get this kind of smooth waveform that goes up. Then you get this thing that comes down like that. OK, so there is. So there's a little bit of a roll off to that knee, this knee right here, that there's a little bit of a roll off. But now, whoop, what happened there? Peter going crazy today. Okay, so that's all well and good if, um, that's all well and good here. If this is, you know, reasonably fast, this transition period right here, but now what happens if you get something like this? You know, it's a real slow transition, something like that. What you get, you could in this area right here, because remember there's a threshold between this is red as low and that's red as high, anything above here. This transition region here, that could be a problem, especially when you've got you're reading three of these things because now check this out. What if this guy right here 
as a slow transition region up to here. At this point in time right here, what you're reading is 0, 0, 0. Now you suddenly, you, you did go from, you went from, you started out here, and this region is 0, 0, 0. And then you did this nice orderly transition to 1. And you should be progressing to this next state right here. However, there's a brief moment in time where it goes back to 0. Because that was really what it's reading right there. And then that brief moment of time is over. And it does read 2. And now you get this brief moment of time, let's say, here, where it's reading 0, 1, 0. You should be transitioning to this 3 state, but you're, well, you're stuck in that same state. Never mind. So you should be, basically, it's just missing a beat right there. And now let's go on to another state right here. Let's do let's do this one right here. This A2 signal is slightly low. You know, it should be transitioning to the, from the 3 state. From the 3 state to the 4 state. But what is it really reading here? It's really reading 0, 0, 0. So you go back to 0. So you go from 3 to 0 back to 4. Okay, so that's a glitch. It's something inherent to the digital pulse that is causing this thing to happen. Um I don't know. Uh think of think just think about your regular life. You know, things are supposed to work this way, but they just don't and you just got to deal with it. Um the English system, uh you you have to use feet and miles. They're they're archaic. That to me is a glitch in humanity. We shouldn't be using those things. We should be using the metric system. But it's a glitch, and I have to deal with it for until someone changes it. But knowing that these glitches exist, um, they uh, you you should be able to account for them. And how the seventy four one thirty eight does that? It uses this strobe. This is just one means of uh, of compensating for a glitch. Um, there's, there's, this is by no means the only glitch that's out there. It's just one of the more common ones, just in the inherent nature of a digital pulse. Um, there's glitches according to uh, um, propagation delay um, through a gate. That's going to be super critical when we move on to uh, latches, um, which we'll get into. Okay, so um, how does a strobe do it? Well, with the strobe uh, input for a uh, binary to octal, all it does is says it's going to take the output only at specific times. Basically, meaning that there's no transition occurring. When is there no transition occurring? Well, right here, right here, you know, see how it's lopping off that section right there? And it's lopping off that section. Here's a stable state. Well, this transition region, that's not acceptable. Here's a stable state. Transition region, don't read it then. Stable, transition, stable, transition, and on and on and on. So basically, the strobe says, take the reading here take the reading here, oops, by the way, take the reading there, take the reading there, take the reading there. These, unacceptable. Don't ignore those things. And so basically the strobe allows you to have that nice orderly progression from 0 to 7 back. Okay, so that is a pretty cool discussion on glitches. And all it is is just because of the, the rise time of the digital pulse.